It's soothing. I think it's soothing. The sound of rain hitting the roof brings joy to Moriah Morgan. People don't realize the little things until they're gone. The last time I had a roof over my head was, I would say, the end of 2017. Since then, she had lived on the street in a tent. I lost my job, I lost my car, I lost my house. A meth habit took over her life. And at that point, I didn't really, I didn't have a purpose. I didn't feel worth anything. The love for her kids helped her beat the addiction, and she found much needed support. Church of the Park is a nonprofit, but a church, uh, just providing supports to uh, those that need it. Church at the Park had planned to manage an outdoor homeless village on this city owned lot along Wallace Road Northwest in Salem. But the project was nixed because the property is a wetland prone to flooding. While that plan fell through, another one on Salem's Northeast Portland Road is up and running. Recently, we've uh, been partnering with the city on providing micro shelter communities uh, for people to transition into housing and into more stable living situations um, from the streets. The micro shelter spaces provide two beds and a table. Secure doors mean residents can leave for work and not have to worry about theft. Two adults and, and possibly one or two children in with them. And so we're able to have, uh, you know, a small family uh, together in sheltered spaces. The church at the park micro shelters here in Salem opened about a month ago. There are currently 30 pods with 65 people living on the property, including Moriah. It's a place where you can call home for the time being. It's also a place offering access to mental health services and other crucial resources on site. I'm doing really good. I've been clean for over a year. Not only did Moriah find a home here, she also found purpose. We're residents here and I'm an employee here too. Working as a receptionist. I can help others and share my experience. An example to others that with the roof over your head, it is possible to reclaim the little things symbolic for a better life. Once you have them back, you want to hold on to it. You know, once I, I just, I want to get a place to live again. You know, my own place again. And I'm going to hold on to it. Crystal Kumwe, KGW News.